Hello guys and welcome back to another play review on the channel. Today we've got the big man Haji to review. He looks pretty damn decent I think for the price. 200k is the SBC price all round about and you do get his son as a future stars item who looks pretty insane as well. Uh, I will be reviewing Haji in this review but I'll also give my opinions on other Haji as well. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of Haji, 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 Haji in this review. If you do enjoy today's play, if you know what to do, smash that thumbs up button for me. It's greatly appreciated. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more play reviews. I will be reviewing this Smith Rowe, who I managed to park on the web app in an 80 plus player pick. Absolutely insane. Could not believe when I saw that man pop up. I did three and I got bloody Smith Rowe from one untradeable. I can't wait to review that card as well. So... Let's have a look at Hadji stats. Medium low work rate, not too bad for a cam. Four star, four star. Um, his prime moments will have a five star weak foot. Um, and I think he had five star skills. Or was it? It was one or the other, I think. He might have had both. I can't remember last year. Uh, but I've, he had five star in one of them, definitely. Um, and he's left footed, as you guys know. Now, his pace. I think he's okay for a central cam. Uh, if you're playing like a 4 2 3 1 formation. In behind a striker, it's not too bad. But something that is bad. 78 stamina. What the hell? What the hell? That is shocking. Absolutely shocking. 78 stamina is bloody terrible, lads. And I can't believe they've done it to him. I can't believe they've done it to him. That's going to be, I think, the main con on this card. And obviously that is going to be quite weak. But his shooting category is stats. Lowest of 85, which is his finishing. Uh, but... His long shots are amazing at 92 and shot power 93 is brilliant. His passing stats, absolutely sensational. 88 is his lowest, which is his long passing curve. His short pass of 92, free kicks of 94, crossing of 89 and vision of 89, insane. His dribbling stats as well, pretty darn good. Okay, agility and balance could be a bit higher. Um, I would probably recommend putting an engine on, to be fair. Boost that uh, pace up a bit and boost the agility and balance up to the max. Um, and that will probably be the most, the best chem style for him. I've gone with a catalyst uh, just to get the most out of his piece, to be honest. But yeah, I'd probably recommend an engine on him, if I'm quite honest with you. Um, 92 ball control, 90 dribbling, and 89 composure, fantastic. Uh, he's got the flare shot, which is great as well. He doesn't have finesse shot trait though, could that be a con? We'll have to find out in the review. And also, he doesn't have outside the foot shot trait. Um, but he's obviously not going to win a header. Well, he's 5'8 with 58 head accuracy and 74 jumping. That's bad. He's got 78 stamina, as I've already talked about. That's bad. He's got 60 strength and 61 aggression. That's bad. So, yes, there are some concerning stats on the card, but this is 200k SBC for an icon, a prime icon, Haji, and his son, who's a future star, who looks pretty insane, if you ask me, with a 5-star weak foot and 4-star skill moves. He looks pretty darn good. To be fair, he's probably got better stats than his uh, father. If we're going to go into have a look at the card in detail, like 97 agility is insane, isn't it? The stamina of 86 is a hell of a lot better than his father's. His pace is better. So, yeah. But, obviously, the main thing with this card is he's in a crap league, the Scottish League. Sorry, my fellow Scottish friends. Uh, but he's placed for Rangers the better of the clubs, only because Gerard managed them, obviously. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it's... It's a tough one. He's a tough one to link. And the only way you're going to link him, really, is with bloody Hadji. So, yeah, it's good that they get the strong link. Like I've linked him in here. That's what you're going to have to do. Probably box him in with icons and stuff like that. If you want to get him in your first team. But if you want to get Hadji in your first team, obviously he's an icon. He links to everyone. So you could have this Hadji on the bench as, like, a super sub. So it is. I think it's very good value, SBC. I love the concept of it. They could possibly do it with Cliver Because I know Cliver's son... Um, he got a one to watch this year, I think, didn't he? Or was that last year? I can't remember. But that would be a good one as well. I know Clive, it's not the best player in the world, but his son, if he got a future stars card, that'd be amazing. I don't know how old he is, actually. Uh, but anyway, I'm waffling. Let's get on into the player review. Uh, Jorginho Hadji, let's find out if he's any good. So here we go into match number one. He's got an interesting team there, to be fair. Uh, it's going to be a tough one for Hadji in his first game against the Varane. Flashback. Going to be a tough one. Let's have a dig. Outside the box, not too bad. Not too bad. Obviously, he doesn't have the finesse shot trait, so that didn't fly in the top bin, but still a decent effort. Finesse. Again, 
So that might have gone in the back of the net with someone with finesse shot treat. So it might be a minor con on the card that he doesn't have that. We find Hadji again. Let's try it again. Again, another save. So yeah, I think that's going to be a minor con with the card. Lovely play. Lovely play. Nice close control. Finds the space with inside the box. And the shot was lovely. And yeah, he's had a few from outside the box of finesse shot. This is the first shot inside the box. And he puts it away with ease. Great goal. Lovely ball out wide from him. And we get a lovely goal from the attack. And who did it start with? Hadji. So yes, he's definitely going to be a playmaker for you. He will get you the odd goal. Um, but the main concern for me is the stamina. I know for a fact by 70th minute I'm going to have to take him off. Let's just have a quick look where he's at. Okay, he's not doing too bad at the moment. But I know that will quickly deteriorate. So we've reached the 78th minute. And he's the most dead player on the pitch. He has got 45 fitness. He is absolutely knackered. Uh, so in this game, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take him off. And that's something you guys are going to have to look out for if you do this SBC and he makes your stand, starting team. Is Have you got someone you can replace him with at half-time? Because he's going to be knackered. Well, just after half-time anyway. Uh, but we're going to make some changes. And unfortunately, Hadji's going off. First game, been pretty decent. But we'll go on into the next one. My, my substitutes didn't register and in the last minute of the game, Hadji goes and scores a bloody thunderbolt goal. Yes, he might be knackered, but by God, that has just saved me into extra time. But I'm going to have to take him off now, lads, seriously, this time. Hopefully, it'll register my bloody substitutes. But honestly, amazing performance from him. What a rocket. What a rocket. Couldn't have got any more in that top bin. So here we go into match number two. And he's got a strange team. Not the most meta in the world, is it? Great play. Can he score? No, he can't. He blasted over the bar. It had some power on it, but I expected better than that. Look at the run from Smith Rowe. He finds him as well. Can we chip him? Yes, we can. Great assist from Hadji. Again, he's going to be involved in a lot of the build-up plays. Passing is fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Definitely a, a massive pro on the card. Uh, so is his dribbling, to be fair. He's really good on the ball. Lovely turn. Can he score? Wow. That is an amazing goal. That turn absolutely took the defender into no man's land and the finish was great as well. And another rage quit. Oh, thanks to the man, Hadji. What a great performance again. Uh, one goal, one assist in this game. Is he good? Yes. Is he amazing? No. Is he uh, end game? No, he's not. Is he a good card at this stage of the game? Yeah, he's a decent card, lads. And you're getting two for the price of one if you're doing the SBC. Um, I'm enjoying him. He's got some really good attributes about him. But he also has some really bad ones as well, which I have talked about is his stamina. His stamina is shocking, and it's going to be a massive, massive con on the card. Obviously, his strength's a massive con, and obviously, um, his heading ability is not great either. Uh, but he does come with some amazing pros. His link-up play, his passing is unreal, absolutely unreal. He can spray balls left, right, and centre. You can probably cross them in as well. Obviously, he's not going to wide positions because he's playing at that central cam for me, but the... Passing is great, dribbling great, and shooting is pretty decent as well. So into the third and final game of the review, and he's coming up against himself. Oh, Hadji's running through. Can we get away from the defender? Yes, we can. Can he score? No, he can't. Can his son get the rebound? Yes, he can. So we did get a goal with Hadji, but not the Hadji we're reviewing today. The other Hadji, which is his son, Hadji. And if that didn't get your tongue twisted, I don't know what will. Lovely pass into Hadji. And it's a great first time effort from him. Yes, he's got the finishing lads inside the box, outside the box. Okay, his finesse shots outside the box aren't great. Inside the box, I've had no issues. All in all, he's a decent card. He's 200k lads. 
in an SBC. I think he's just a bit more than that if you're buying him off the market. But in the SBC, you're getting his son as well, which is a decent little card. Not, obviously, the greatest card in the world, but it's decent to have in your squad for uh, potential, I don't know, icon swaps, stuff like that, if you need first owners, etc, etc. It's all good to have in your club. I don't think he's amazing by any means, but he's certainly not bad. Can he score this? No, he can't. Straight at the keeper. Probably my fault. Should have shot with a Bamiyang to be fair. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm enjoying the card. I think he's worth the coins, lads. I really do. Um, but obviously, for 200k, you're not going to get an end game meta player who's going to take you to the next level, are you? You're going to get a good player, which he definitely is, but not an end game. And he does have his cons, as I mentioned. But all in all, a decent card. I am enjoying it. So we finished this one in extra time, losing 3-2. He scored in the 105th minute or something, and maybe just before that. And then the second half, he was passing around the back. If you're one of them people, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. But anyway, Hadji, absolutely amazing performance. I really do like the card. Um, he's got a lot about him that's good, but he does have some bad. But for 200k in an SBC, I think he's a right bargain. I really do. With the um, addition of his son as well. Um, I think it's fantastic SBC, fantastic concept. If you're doing the SBC, go and get him. If you're buying him, however, off the market, maybe not go and get him. Uh, there is other options who are probably better at cam. I've just reviewed um, Nedved, mid-icon, who's 200k. He's a left wing, though. But move him into central cam, and he's better than this man. Um, so, yeah, if you're picking him up off the market, there are other better options as icons that you can use at cam. Uh, but if you're doing the SBC, it's definitely, definitely great value. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about his over my overall thoughts and opinions and give my rating right now of the card. So my overall thoughts and opinions, Hadji, I've pretty much already said them. I do enjoy the card. Five games, four goals, one assist. Brilliant performances from him. Um, and yeah, he's just a, re he's a decent card for the price. Obviously, he's an icon. Non-icon-wise, there's definitely better cards out there for ch uh, cheaper. But you are getting his son as well. It, you know, it, all in all, he's a decent card and he plays okay in game. With the five-star weak foot, is brilliant. Four-star skill is brilliant as well. High, medium, work rate. The only thing bad about this man is probably the average body type and, um, I'd say, the low balance. Um, everything else is pretty darn good, to be honest. Um, I would say he's not really that great at... Uh, sort of wide camp position he was great in central cam or striker but out wide he's not the best and um, so if you're going to use both of them um yeah you've got to think about how you're going to use them i wouldn't suggest any of them out wide because uh, obviously grandad haji has got terrible pace well not terrible but not great pace for a wide camp and um this Hadji also doesn't have that much greater pace. He suits more of a striker, and this man definitely suits more of a central attacking mid in behind a striker, like I've been playing him. But you've got to be careful of that stamina, which is a massive con on the car. If I was going to rate this out of 10, I'd probably go for a 7. He's not the greatest card in the world. He's definitely usable at this stage of the game, but I guarantee in a couple of months' time, maybe two, three months, um, he's going to be unusable because the cards are going to be so much faster so much better all around but this man for now decent card i'm sure you will enjoy him i'd definitely say go and get him if you're doing the sbc but do stay away from him if you are going to pick him up off the market because there's definitely other options out there that are a lot better icon wise than this man and um, but all in all decent card lads decent card i hope you have enjoyed today's play review if you have smash the thumbs up button for me it's greatly appreciated and if you are new around here please do subscribe to the channel for more play reviews and i will catch you all next time peace